Welcome to Fight Master Yoga, where it's not about the pose and you don't have to be perfect. Hi, I'm Leslie Fight Master. Today's class, Total Body Yoga Workout. Begin sitting up nice and tall. Ground down through your sitting bones, lengthen your spine and connect with your breath. If you believe this yoga video can make the world a better place, then share it. We'll create an intention for our practice. So take your hands together in front of your heart. May your practice connect you to your strength. You have the power to think, reason, imagine, invent, and forgive. Set a goal, work toward it, and transform your life. Roll yourself forward and make your way into an extended child's pose. Keeping the arms reaching forward, fingers spread for a moment, stretch out your spine, take a long inhale. Exhale, take your hands behind you, hook the thumbs or interlace the fingers, inhale. Reach the arms up toward the ceiling, stretching the shoulders gently. Keep your elbows soft instead of letting them lock. And then release your hands, bring your arms forward again, elbows straight, spread the fingers, inhale onto the knees, bring your chest forward, lift your chin, lift your tailbone up. As you exhale, round your back, chin toward chest, pull the belly in, and then take your hips back to your heels, stretching in child's pose. And inhale here. Exhale again, sweep the hands to the low back, interlace the other thumb on top or the other pinky, and inhale, reaching the arms up, gently stretching out through the shoulders. Even out your breath, so your inhales and your exhales are equal in length. And release and reach the arms forward again, spread the fingers nice and wide. Come back up onto your, onto your knees, turn your inner elbows forwards, gently tuck your toes, come to down dog, and then begin to bend one knee and the other. Make sure your arms are shoulders distance apart, your feet are hips width. As you press into the base of your fingers, lift up through your forearms. Bend both knees a moment to lengthen through the spine and then reach down through the heels any amount. As you inhale, lift your right leg back and up with level hips. And then as you exhale, bend the knee and open up the hip, taking the foot off to the side. Press evenly through the arms and shoulders. Inhale, square off the hips. And as you exhale, bring your knee forward, shoulders over the wrist, hug that thigh in toward the belly, and then step the right foot by the hand. Take the left knee down, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, pulling the right hip back. Pull the ribs and belly in. Option to interlace all the fingers except for your first finger and reach up really tall. Keep the front ribs drawing down. Take a breath here. Exhale, bring the hands on either side of the feet. Inhale, straighten out the right leg. Pull the toes back. Exhale, fold for half splits. Stre stretching out the hamstrings just for a moment. Rebend that front knee and step to plank pose. Remember, you can take your knees down if you'd like, or you can leave them up. We're gonna hold plank for a few breaths. So chest forward, press back through the heels, make sure the shoulders are above the wrists. Now shift the shoulders forward about an inch. Slowly as you can, begin to lower little by little. Keep breathing as you lower all the way down to your belly. Bring your hands by the low ribs. Inhale, peel the chest up for a little cobra. Lengthen sitting bones to heels. Lower down, tuck the toes. The knees can stay down or you can lift them. Exhale to plank. And then lifting hips again into downward dog. Breathe here a moment. Pull the belly in and up. Lift your left leg back and up. Level hips first. And now bend the knee, opening up your hip. Pressing evenly through the arms and the shoulders. Reach down through the right heel any amount. Square off your hips. Exhale. Draw the knee in toward the belly. Bring the shoulders above the wrist. Pull the belly in and up. And step the left foot up by the hand. Right knee down. 
and pulling the left hip back as you come into your low lunge. Sink the hips forward, but continue to lift your frontal hip bones up toward the lower ribs. Option to interlace everything but the first finger and reach up tall. Getting a little extra length and space in the torso and through the spine. Exhale, bring your hands on either side of the foot and then inhale, straighten out the left leg. Pull the toes back and fold over the leg. Keep pulling that left hip back, stretching out the hamstrings. And now re-bend the knee, step to plank. Again, we'll hold plank, knees can be up or down, your choice. Breathing, chest forward, heels back, keep the belly lifted and lift the backs of the knees up if they are off the floor. Shift forward and again, very slowly, one little inch per breath, move yourself to the floor, having everything touch at once. Hands by low ribs, inhale cobra or upward dog. If you're an up dog, thighs and knees off the floor, shoulders above wrists. And then exhale, stretch to downward facing dog. Again, spread your fingers, press into the base of your fingers, lift the forearms, draw the belly in and up. Exhale everything out, bend the knees and lightly step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees here if you like. Press to the feet and rise up. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bring hands to heart. Come to the top of the mat, feet together or hip socket distance apart. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are, are parallel. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hip creases and fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, nice long spine. Exhale, stepping back to plank and lower chaturanga shoulders no lower than the elbows. And then inhale, press through up dog or stick with cobra. Exhale, stretch to down dog. Breathe here. Inhales and exhales equal in length. Firm the leg muscles. Inhale, come to plank from the belly. Step a little bit closer together with the feet. Right hand toward the center of the mat. Go to the pinky toe side of the right foot, left arm up. Remember, you can always take the right knee down for more support. If the knee is up, bring your top hip slightly forward. Left hand to hip and come back into plank pose. Holding plank or option to shift forward, chaturanga pause, pressing up to plank. Step the feet together, left hand comes to center of mat, rolls to the little toe side of the left foot. Reaching up through the right arm, lengthen your sitting bones toward the heels, keep your belly pulling in and up and lift your pelvic floor muscles. Line up your hips here. Bring the right hand back down and back to plank. Lower through chaturanga, then inhale to upward dog, stretch out the front of the body, and exhale into downward facing dog all the way back. Evening out the breath. Remember, you can always push pause, take a break, take a child's pose whenever you feel it would be best for you. Do it at your pace. Look forward, bend the knees, step or hop up, then inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold. Press with the feet, inhale to rise up. Keep the ribs in. Exhale, hands to heart, samastitihi. Inhale, sit back into Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, belly to thighs, and then forward fold, straightening the legs as much as you can. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float to chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet, shoulders above wrists. Exhale, back into down dog. Right leg lifts on an inhale with level hips this time. Exhale, draw the knee in toward the belly just for a breath and then step it right in the middle of the hands. Back heel down for warrior two. Make sure the knee is over the ankle 
point it over the middle toes. Press the back thigh back, but lift up through the back inner thigh. Now take your left hand behind your back and reverse your warrior. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, come up, lean a little forward, right arm around belly, left arm in line with left ear, side angle. Inhale, reverse, left hand behind, right arm up and over. Inhale, come up. Exhale, right arm around belly, reach your left arm forward, pinky side down. Inhale again, reverse, left hand behind the back. Exhale, bend that knee. Inhale, come up. And right arm around the belly, left arm up and over. Press firmly down into the front heel. Hold a moment and then back to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, windmill the arms down to plank. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, stretch back. Feel free to skip those chaturangas as well. Left leg lifts on your inhale. Exhale, draw knee in toward belly, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, step it up between the hands, spin back, heel down, line up front heel and back arch. Warrior two. Knee over ankle, right over the middle toes. Lift your chest, widen your collarbones, but let your shoulder blades relax a little bit. Take your right hand behind your back, reverse your warrior, exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, come up, lean a little forward, left arm around belly, sweep your right arm forward, pinky side of the hand down. Inhale, back up, right hand behind, reverse, exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, up, leaning forward, right arm around belly, left arm forward. Press the front heel down again, reverse, inhale, right hand behind, exhale, bend the knee. And inhale to come up, leaning forward, right arm around belly, left arm in line with the ear. Make sure that knee is still over the ankle. And then inhale to warrior two. And exhale, windmill the arms down, go right to down dog or exhale through chaturanga. Inhaling upward facing dog or cobra and exhale back into down dog. Stretching back here. Even out your breath and remember you are strong. Bend the knees, step or float forward, inhale to lengthen, exhale and fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, weight in the heels for chair pose. And pause a moment in chair. Then bring your hands together down the center, bring palms to the floor, knees in toward armpits, shifting the weight forward for Bakasana. Squeeze outer hips, inner thighs toward each other, press away from the floor, belly in and up, rounded upper back. Keep the gaze forward, either step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet, and exhale again to Down Dog. Right leg lifts on your inhale, Exhale, hover a moment, shoulders over wrists using those belly muscles. Now step it up by the right hand, inhale for crescent. Bend the back knee and tilt your pelvis forward, pull your belly in, pull the right hip back. Reach up, arrow straight arms and then bring hands to heart. Inhale, lean forward, hook your left arm across, twist. As you inhale, create length through the spine. You can stay here or bring the left hand down to the floor, right arm up, or you can use a block. And you can stay with this or bring your right arm behind your back, left arm underneath the thigh, and clasp your hand or hold onto your clothing. Keep pulling that right hip back as you breathe here and as you twist. Draw in through the pelvic floor, in through the belly. Slowly unwind back into warrior, or back into crescent, sorry. And now take the back heel down, line up heel to arch, take the arms to shoulder height for triangle. Hinge from the hip crease, reach as far out as you comfortably can. Right hand to the shin, the foot, a block, or the floor. Stretch through the left fingertips, looking up if that's okay on your neck. And inhale, sweep the left arm forward. Exhale, sweep it in front of you and bring it behind your back. Let it rest there or hook it on the thigh. 
If that isn't comfortable, you can keep your hand on your hip. Look down, half moon pose. Make sure the right wrist is underneath the shoulder as you float your back leg up. Reaching sitting bone to heel, or you can bend the back knee, reach for the little toe side of the foot, and press that foot back. This is Chaprasana, Ardha Chaprasana. Slowly release, bend the front knee, see if you can hover just a moment, me not so much today, and then to warrior two, breath in, exhale, windmill the arms down through chaturanga, inhale, press up, and exhale back. As you inhale, the left leg floats up with, le with level hips. As you exhale, draw it in. Shoulders over the wrists. Step the left foot by the hand, staying on the ball of your back foot as you rise up into crescent. Bend the back knee a little, tilt the pelvis forward, zip in the belly, left hip pulls back. Now bring hands to heart. Lean forward, get a little length, hook the right arm across. Remember, inhale, create length through your spine. Exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe taking the right hand down to the floor or a block, left arm straight up. Just an option. You can stay wherever you are, whatever works best for you. Option, left hand behind your back, right arm under the thigh, clasping or holding onto your clothes. Roll the top shoulder back if you're taking the interlock, widen the collarbones, and pull the left hip back. Now pull belly in, pelvic floor in and up, come back to center, inhale. Take the back heel down, line up heel to arch, straighten out both legs for triangle. Hinge from your front hip crease, reach, 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 get some length. Take the left hand down wherever it lands, stretch up through the right arm. Keep the breath steady. Press into the big toe mound of the left foot. Draw the left sitting bone under you. Now reach the right arm forward as you inhale. Sweep it down. Take it behind you. Resting at the low back or hook it onto the thigh. You're welcome to stay right in triangle pose. Or if you'd like to join for half moon, keep the half wrap or take right hand to hip. Bend the front knee, take your left hand forward, make sure the wrist is under the shoulder, float your back leg up. Keep reaching your sitting bone toward the heel of the lifted leg or an option to bend the lifted leg and reach for the little toe side of the foot. If you have the foot, simply press back to stretch out the front of the quad. Wherever you are, just breathe and enjoy your practice. Releasing the foot if you had it. Maybe find a little bit of lift and then to warrior two. Breath in. Exhale. Take the hands on either side of the foot. Step to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhale to press up and exhale all the way back. Take a breath or two in down dog, and then we're going to do a little bit of balance. And always remember, balance is different on different days, and nothing has to be perfect, thank goodness. Mine's not going to be. <laughs> Look forward, bend the knees, step or hop up. Inhale, lengthen, and fold as you exhale. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale to chair. And then coming to Samastitihi standing. So we'll start with tree pose, grounding down with the left leg and picking up the right foot. Take it anywhere above or below the knee. Take your arms up when you're ready. Find a steady focal point to help with your balance. Looking at something that is not moving. And drop that lifted leg hip down. Squeeze the standing leg hip in towards center. Bend the standing leg a little and then cross the top leg over the bottom, right leg over left, and then left arm over right, Garudasana. 
Stay up or exhale, bring your belly towards your thigh. Reach your fingertips forward, slowly inhale. Keep squeezing the legs. If you lose it, no worries, just come back in. Exhale, belly over thigh. Uncross the top leg, step it back and see if you can find a warrior three just for a moment. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Drop the hip of the lifted leg. Slowly bend the front knee and find crescent pose. Make sure that knee is over your ankle. And then just exhale, bring the hands down and lower through chaturanga. Inhaling up and exhaling all the way back. Just a breath here in your down dog. So stretch back, exhale everything out, bend the knees, step or hop up. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to fold, press through the feet, inhale into chair pose a moment, and then samastitihi. So now we'll ground on through the right leg and pick up the left. Take the left foot anywhere above or below the knee. And find your steady focal point at your arms when you're ready. Arrow straight arms, reach them up there. Drop the left hip down, squeeze the right hip in towards center. And then bending your standing leg a little bit, crossing your tree leg over top of it. Take arms out to the sides, right arm on top of left, touching palms or you could touch your shoulders. Squeeze outer hips, inner thighs. Stay where you are or exhale, hinge from your hip creases and fold forward, belly toward thighs. Slowly inhale back up. Stay or once again, exhale, hinging from hips. And then uncross the top leg, extend it back, point your toes straight down and drop your outer hip so your hips stay level. Belly in. Slowly into crescent pose, set that foot down, stretch up through the arms, inhale, exhale, bring the hands down, make your way to down dog, either right to it or come to plank. Actually, let's all come to plank. Bring the right hand in toward the center of the mat, roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot, left arm up, stay here, or option to take the left foot into tree pose. And just for fun, reach your left arm forward, lift up through the hips. So you can release that tree anytime you like, or you can come to plank tree and then chaturanga tree and inhale to up dog tree. And then tuck the toes, stretch back, down dog tree, and let it go. Just something a little different. Pull the belly in and up, engage and lift the pelvic floor as you come to plank, step feet together, step the left hand to the center of the mat, reach the right arm up for side plank, pinky toe side of left foot down, remember always can take the bottom knee down too, option to lift the top leg into tree and reaching right arm forward in line with the ear, lift the hips a little higher if you can, breathing here. Keep the belly and pelvic floor engaged. Now, keeping tree if you can or not, come to plank. Shift forward, chaturanga tree, inhaling to up dog tree. And then tuck the toes, lift back to down dog tree. And then let your tree foot go and come to regular down dog. Look forward, lightly step or hop and sit. And then we'll slowly make our way onto the back for bridge pose. Make sure your feet are hip socket distance apart, outer edges of feet parallel. Inhale, lift hips, low back, mid back, maybe upper back. Keep your palms flat or roll the shoulders under and then interlace the fingers. Extend your right leg forward and then inhale, lift it up toward the ceiling. Press onto the left heel and keep lifting the hips. Now bend your right knee, take your right ankle just past the left knee and flex the ankle. So it's just like doing a figure four or thread the needle in bridge. 
And then inhale, extend that leg straight up again. We'll come back the way we came. Bring it forward in line with the other knee and then set it back down. Regular bridge. Stay with it. You are strong. Left leg reaches forward. Inhale, lift it up. Straighten the knee if you can. You don't have to. Do the best you can. And bend the knee. Flex the ankle. Take it just above the right knee. Keep lifting up, so pressing through the heel that's on the floor. Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees as you breathe here. Keep your neck nice and long. Extend the leg back up toward the ceiling. Slowly bring it halfway down. And then bend the knee, return to bridge. Release your hands, lower down. And wrestles the feet together, knees apart, hand on the heart, center hand on the belly. And think of three things that you are grateful for today, in this moment. Now bringing the knees back up, you can set up for another bridge pose. Make sure the outer edges of the feet are parallel, or if you take Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow or wheel. Hands by the ears, pause at the crown of the head. Make sure the elbows are parallel and then press up. Lengthen sitting bones toward backs of knees. Spiral the thighs in toward each other as if you're holding a block. If you're all the way up, press your chest away from the backs of your knees gently. Then bring your chin in toward your chest and lower down. And hug those knees into the chest. Up and asana. Gently rock yourself side to side. Extend the legs straight up toward the ceiling. And now grab the backs of your thighs and start to slowly bring the legs toward your belly. You can bend your knees as much as you like. Or you can straighten the legs so we can get a stretch in the lower back. And maybe if the legs are straight, you'll have a stretch in your hamstrings as well. Breathe here. And then slowly make your way back so the lower back is on the floor. Legs are up. And pause a moment. And then bend the knees, feet to the floor. Pick up your hips, shift them over to the right. Take the knees to the left. You could cross the right knee over the left for a little deeper twist. Looking over your right shoulder, as long as that's fine with your neck. Turn your belly up toward the ceiling. Big breaths in your twist. Make your way back to center. And now shift hips to the left and take knees to the right. Option to cross the left knee over the right if you wish. Look over the left shoulder. Turn the belly up toward the ceiling, deepening your twist, and make sure to check in with your steady breath. Ujjayi Pranayama. Breathing in and out through the nose, slightly constricting the back of the throat. Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. And then take your feet to the floor, lengthen your sitting bones away from your waist, extend your legs, feet flop open, shoulder blades away from ears, arms out to the sides, palms up, any discomfort in the low back, then keep your knees bent, close your eyes, release any tension from your forehead. Our quote today comes from Brene Brown, yet again. Shame corrodes the very part of us that believes we are capable. So that's what Brene says. And I say, so remember, you are amazing just as you are and you're capable of just about anything you set your mind to. Now relax, quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana.
Begin to deepen your breath. Make movements and wrists and ankles stretch out through your arms and your legs. And now bend your knees, roll yourself onto your right side and pause. Take a moment here to honor yourself for showing up today. You did incredible work. Slowly press yourself to seat it and bring your hands in front of your heart. Hands to your forehead reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to your heart reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to your mouth reminding you to have clear and loving communication, sending positive energy out to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Your core muscles are so important to strengthen and I've created a class especially for you because it's all about the core. That's where the strength comes from. So there's a link below, click it and I'll send it right over. And a lot of people really love Yoga Fix 90. And if you want to take your practice up a notch, then I would suggest giving it a try. It's right here. Start today.